Most people would say that the first Porsche ever made and p p produced was the infamous 356 and the 356 Speedster. And he would be very right there because it was the first Porsche ever to be produced and it was it was a very su successful car however it wasn't the first Porsche that was ever made here's a heritage behind the 1939 Porsche Type 64 Over 10 years before the introduction to the 356, a guy called Ferdinand Porsche, the founder of the co company, decided to do an experiment on a rear engine sp sports car that was based on the Volkswagen's the people's car which for the people of our era we call it the Vol Volkswagen Beetle and this car's name the type 64 actually came from the fact that the car was originally designed from the type 64 record car. Chassis of this type 64 was heavily reinforced and it was custom made and the, and it also shared the same one litre flat 4 engine as one of the, the Volkswagen Beetle however the power output at the time was pushed to 50 horsepower was at the time for a Volkswagen Beetle was quite a lot and they and it meant that the top speed of the car was able to reach 99 miles per hour and to show off the car for 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 the very first time Ferdinand Porsche uh, decided to put one of their three mate uh, prototypes on to the 1939 Berlin to Rome race which at the time was a bit like the Berlinia except it was on a different route uh, with one of the cars as a public relations product. Unfortunately though at the very start of the WW2 one of the cars was destroyed. So now there was only two cars left just to keep. However when it came to the second car that also was completely destroyed as in 1945 some American soldiers once again in this was in the middle of uh, WW2. They found these second car uh, hidden away. They uh, decided to basically take saw off a roof of it and basically joyride all the way around the German airfields until the engine was completely burnt out basically and the car was ruined. So only one car remains to this day which was owned by Ferdinand Porsche's uh, son Ferry Porsche in which in 1947 was actually found and was restored by a guy called Batista Farina. Some people might actually know something about that guy's name probably from a brand called Pinin Farina then in 1949 the car was sold to a motorcycle racer who was, no, who was known as Otto Neuf he 
kept the car for a very long time until sadly he, he passed away where in 1995 the car was auctioned off to a Porsche collector who we don't really know. Moving on another 24 years to 2019 during the, the infamous Monterey Car Week where the car was auctioned at the Monterey Car Week auctions along with some other very expensive cars. Unfortunately, some, some computer failure happened uh, in the auctions and therefore the car's auction was basically sc scrapped and it was never sold which made a lot of people very angry and especially for those who wanted re re this car so badly and the car was never sold so, it's, so now it's still with a Porsche collector who we don't know and that's basically the history behind this amazing car. The first time I actually heard about this car was when Chris Howes uh, drove it in one of the t t Top Gear videos on YouTube. That was the first time I ever saw it and I was very interested in it. And you can easily see that even though this was in 1939, it, it still had the lines of a Porsche. It, it had the engine in the back and it really had like an older shape as to a 356 and that's no s s s s surprise. I mean if you put them both next to each other they nearly look the same except that Type 64 looks a lot older. But uh, yeah, that's the history behind this Type 64. I really hope you enjoyed the first episode of Heritage. This is a brand new series which is coming to the ch channel. So if you like to know a lot of interesting history about old cars, as well as a bit of some really interesting facts and a little bit of comedy, I'm not great with fun. I'm not funny at all. If you did like this first episode of Ben Heritage, then go ahead and, and click the subscribe button on and and if you want to see more of those like these coming in, in the future, then click on the notification bell. Check out some of my older videos if you are more interested in newer car videos then I've also got a series called C Car Talk which basically goes through the, the latest c cars as well as as well as going through cars in person so yeah I'd like to thank everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next video